The COVID-19 PUI should be placed on contact and airborne precautions with eye protection if aerosol generating procedures are expected to be performed. First, don gown. Gown should fully cover torso from neck to knees and arms to end of wrist. Make sure to tie the back of gown. Do not tear open at neck closure. Ensure that hair is properly secure and away from the face. Don the N95 respirator. Ensure flexible band is fitted to nose. Ensure mask fits snug to face and below chin. Secure elastic bands at middle of head and neck. Do not cross bands. Facial hair that lies along the ceiling area of a respirator, such as beards, sideburns, or some mustaches, will interfere with respirators that rely on a tight seal to achieve maximum protection. Facial hair is a common reason that someone cannot be fit tested. Only use the N95 respirator if you have been fit tested and approved by Occupational Health. Don eye protection, either face shield or goggles. Perform hand hygiene. For hand washing, the entire process takes 40 to 60 seconds. For sanitizing, the entire process takes 20 to 30 seconds. Don gloves. Extend to cover wrist of isolation gown. If extended use of PPE is being practiced, follow the guidance on the extended use of PPE as outlined on the internet. While in the patient room or cohort area, doff gown and gloves. At this time, gloves, front of gown are considered contaminated. Grasp the gown in front and pull away from your body so that the ties break. While removing the gown, fold or roll the gown inside out into a bundle. As you remove the gown, peel off your gloves at the same time. Outside of patient room or cohort area, perform hand hygiene. Doff eye protection and mask. Remove goggles or face shield from the back by lifting from back and without touching the front of the goggles or face shield. Remove bottom strap first of the N95 respirator, then the ones on top, and remove without touching the front. Perform hand hygiene. 